Hello everyone, welcome back to the Chassis Variant series. I don't know how that orc got in here, but he has been since removed from the building. So, uh, yeah, this is the Corsair 6R. Uh, this model is uh, one of my personal favourites, as all of these Corsairs will be using uh, custom builds, because hey, it's a pirate mech, it's a slap together jobby, it don't need no stock builds, because it never really has any stock builds. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is one of my own creation. Uh, this is a triple MRM-40 with two light machine guns and three medium lasers. Uh, it's also got a fairly decent sized engine. I think I've got a standard 320. I didn't want to go with light fusion or anything like that. I wanted to keep it with standard engines because I've got a bunch of them lying around spare in the inventory. So I thought may as well use them up. And um, yeah, it's, it's got half decent speed. I haven't tricked any of these out with skill points. So uh, the... It probably goes a bit better with speed tweak, gives the heat management and all that, but it, this is just running it standard. And uh, I really like this build. Uh, I didn't know if triple MRM-40 would work at all. I know a lot of people tend to use things like MRM-30s, because I guess they're the sweet spot between damage and rate of fire. But three of these things, uh, firing one after the other into a target, yeah, definitely hurts. Uh, the, the medium lasers are just there to fill up the energy hard spots and just to give some some kind of uh, weapon that doesn't rely on ammunition. The light machine guns are purely there just to keep up a, a rate of fire in between shots basically because zero heat generation. And yeah, it's fun. I've been really enjoying the course though. It's, it's, you know what? I, I will admit, uh, for years of doing um, MWO videos just using the stock builds, uh, having a custom mech just to mess around with like this is uh, a bit of a laugh sometimes. Uh, although I'm not saying that it would be something I'm, I would do more regularly, I did like the opportunity that this uh, Corsair has, has given me. Plus, it's uh, 95 ton, which there aren't a lot of in uh, MWO at the moment. There's not really a lot of 95 tons in battle tech. It's uh, one of those odd weight uh, groups, same as 85 tons. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's an interesting one. I really do like the design of the mech as well. It looks cool. Um, it, it's it's definitely an inspiration uh, for certain orky stylings. And uh, I tried to paint each of these with a kind of theme around pirates type stuff. I used the Raider camo scheme on all of them, which is why I've been showing the mech lab so you can see what each of them looks like. I really like the touch with the fact that the mechs have slightly unique uh, sort of visualization. So, you know, missing an arm or missing both arms, that kind of thing. So that's kind of cool. So, uh, th this, it's hard to talk about this, but I don't really have any background information for the build. I could talk about the match, though. But this was a, this is your classic uh, NASCAR scenario. Uh, so, our team had gone, obviously, around the bottom of this hill, and their team were coming around through the archway, and they were heading to the, uh, to the into the sort of forested area itself. And uh, I was on with Ravagon. I don't think he noticed I was there. I did say hi, but uh, he, he, I think he was probably too fixated on there. Getting his uh, getting his kills, so uh, yeah, me and Ravagon are there. We're holding because we we encountered something. We started to back up, and that's when the NASCAR started. So the rest of my team is already sort of pushed along, and they've they've isolated a small group of their team, and the rest of them are pushing around the side. So now it becomes this sort of fighting rearguard action where a few of us are basically holding them there while the rest of the team are pushing in. And I realised that well, once the main weight of them get there. We're all just going to get cut down, so that's when I decided to, in a bit, a few seconds, I, I, I break off to go join the rest of the team. Hopefully, with them sort of bunching up there and being a bit too cautious, we'll be able to run around and uh, kill the isolated players and then maybe get uh, double back and uh, engage the rest of the team, which uh, it's... It works out really well. It's it's it was quite a fun match. One of the better matches I've had in a while. Not for the enemy team, of course. Uh, you know, every every good match there's got to be uh, twelve unfortunate uh, players on the other team. And uh, yeah, I mean that's just the nature of uh, computer games online, isn't it? You know. So if you haven't picked up the Corsair yet, uh, and you like your assault mechs, this is a pretty decent one. There's there's something for everybody in the hard point selection. There's uh, the previous one I did, the 5T, that thing is just ballistics up the wazoo, it's got six of them. The, the default build on that thing was like six AC2s with uh, some uh, energy weaponry, uh, which originally I was going to stick with because I thought, well, you don't really get many mechs with AC2s, but I wanted to do something that just had machine guns, and I, I as soon as I read how many hard points that had, I wanted to do a big machine gun build. Uh, this one, as soon as I saw that it had, like, big 
missile numbers. Not not the it's not got the largest number. The other one, uh, the one that's got the most missiles, uh, is is the one that comes equipped with a bunch of rocket launchers. But uh, this one had three missile hard points and it had a bunch of energy. This one's uh, quite balanced in that regard because it's uh, three and three, three and two, so you can make a pretty balanced build on this. But I also wanted to try out MRM 40s because I hadn't really used those before, and uh, I've got to say I do like MRMs in MechWarrior Online. They are a fun weapon system. Uh, I can see why things like the quick draw uh, with the 60 MRM 60 is is so popular because it's just a straightforward, really really annoying harassment build. You're not doing a hell of a lot of damage quickly because obviously probably a mixture of hit detection and uh, of like spreading the damage as you're moving around against the target is is going to reduce a lot of that 60 points of damage, but spread it. But yeah, it's fun. <clears throat> uh, dropping 120 missiles into a target is very good. <laughs> I do quite enjoy it. Uh, it's overkill, and it, but it's the best kind of overkill. I think it fits this mech perfectly because the Corsair is. It looks like a, an ugly mech. It's it's a brutal mech. It's designed to to probably inspire fear. The the idea of this like horrendous thing just sort of clanking around and then just unleashing a torrent of fire. So yeah, it's uh, it's cool for that reason. It's uh, it, it, they they nailed the pirate sort of periphery aesthetic very very well with this one. Uh, I look forward to fighting it in MechWarrior 5 uh, when it turns up and uh, possibly even taking it for a run or at least stripping it because of uh, all the Star League tech it has uh, installed on the Ravager anyway the uh, the hero version. So yeah, I guess I guess what we've been shown with the Corsair specifically with the Ravager pack is that the hero version of MechWarrior 5 will give us our first Lost Tech, so, you know, confirmation of Lost Tech being there, and uh, uh, one of the ways we can obtain it, whether that's a main story plot or a side story plot will be uh, remains to be seen, but still. It's uh, it's fun, it's a pretty cool mech. Uh, I enjoyed this build a lot, and uh, if, if anyone wants to suggest a refinement of what I could do better, maybe dropping the MRM 40s to 30s or something for better fire rate, that kind of thing, yeah, let me know, let me know. Or maybe try out the build yourself and see where, where I went wrong or what I could improve upon. And uh, until then, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you have a good week. And, uh, yeah, I'll uh, see you next time. So thanks for joining. Bye.